Oh man, we have some amazing news. Everybody, how are y'all doing? We have a couple, a couple of dope, dope, dope gaming news items for this video. But before we get started, give the video a gigantic thumbs up, like, 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 and PlayStation 5 console giveaway going down in October. One, subscribe right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter. It's going to be epic, bro. All right. Let's get to the first news item, and this one is pretty dope. More information on Last of Us 2 multiplayer. Yes, it's still coming, but this latest news, pretty dope. This is coming from VG247.com. It's bit the game has been data mined. And we already know that there's going to be a factions mode, probably a team death match, last man surviving, king of the hill, the usual multiplayer stuff. But this new file discovery suggests the game will have a battle royale <coughs> mode. Multiplayer assets buried in Last of Us 2 have been discovered, revealing a battle royale mode. Content creator Specializer um, is a modding expert and he has discovered these assets within the game. Now, I'm not a real big Battle Royale fan, but this game is would be a perfect setting for a Battle Royale. A post-apocalyptic world, zombies, and the last man surviving. Bro, that would be dope, dope, dope. Could this be Sony's holiday surprise? The Last of Us 2 multiplayer. Bro, I would take it. I would take it. I would take it. Last of Us 2 was my game of the year last year. The game was phenomenal from beginning to end. Just imagine hiding in the grass. Wait for somebody to sneak up and then taking them down. Bro, a battle royale mode in Last of Us 2 would be lit. But I would want, in addition to that, don't just do a battle royale. Of course, do the other tip, um, traditional multiplayer modes. So can't wait, can't wait. Good things come to those who wait. It's been a long time coming. We've been waiting and waiting for the multiplayer mode. Can't wait for Sony to reveal it. Who knows? The rumored September event maybe 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 if we have that september event fingers crossed they reveal last of us 2 multiplayer launching holiday 2021 that would be epic bro this next news item we have to talk about this this is coming from videogamechronicles.com bro the headline is Outriders developers say they haven't earned any profits despite the Game Pass deal. And so, Outriders, the big thing was, this is a triple A game. The big thing was, oh, it's going to be free on Game Pass. We don't have to pay $70 to play this game. And I have to say, this game was phenomenal from beginning to end. The difficulty is tough. I mean, it's adjustable, but the story was great. The graphics were great. The gameplay was great. This was a dope, dope, dope looter shooter. And the developers say they have not received any profit, has not earned any profits from the game despite the game pass deal because the big thing at launch was like oh 
Uh, Square Enix was saying 3.5 million are on the game at launch. Game Pass, a lot of Game Pass players are, are playing the game. But the developer, the developer, the ones who actually made the game, did not see any of those benefits. The article continues, Outrider developer People Can Fly has claimed that it has not received any royalties from publisher Square Enix during the first quarter sales, which has led it to assume the game has not yet been profitable. And I tell you, I keep saying this, man. Game Pass is great for gamers. You don't have to pay $70 to play the game. Pay $15, and then some dude just canceled their subscription, whatever. But <coughs> the developers are not seeing these returns. And developers got to eat too, bro, so that they can keep making good games. Now, I know dudes are already saying um, in the comment section, Obi One, but the game also was on PlayStation. Why didn't y'all PlayStation guys buy the game? Bro. And I know dudes, in my Discord specifically, I know dudes that have an Xbox, have a PS5. Am I going to spend $70 on this game or get it on Game Pass at no charge? They bought it on Game Pass, even though they have a PlayStation. And so Game Pass eats into um, Sony sales. And at the end of the day, what the developers could potentially get from the game. And so this is the double-edged sword of Game Pass, where the developers right here, it comes straight from the developer's mouth. They're saying they haven't received any profits from this game. And they're the ones who actually made the game. And so... Um, other CEOs have already come out and said they don't see how Game Pass can be sustainable for big triple A games. Like if a game costs hundreds of thousands, hundreds of millions to develop, they don't see it as sustainable. Now, for smaller indie games like The Ascent, Game Pass would be a good fit. Maybe these developers are making a profit because these games don't cost as much to make. But for your more big triple A games like Outriders, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. All right, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. And to add insult to industry, this next news item coming from Forbes.com. Hades, the physical version of the game has recently went on sale for Xbox and PlayStation. And check this number out. 93% of Hades physical sales were on PlayStation. Um, the article from Forbes says 93% of Hades box sales are on PlayStation, raising an Xbox Game Pass question. Bro, Xbox dudes do not buy games, bro. This is proof of the pudding right here. It's either I'm going to wait for it to come out on Game Pass or I ain't getting it. 93%? Sony's back has to be hurting right now for carrying the gaming industry. I could lie. Number um people can lie. Numbers do not lie. 93% of the sales and this is where developers make most of their money when people actually go out and buy the games not from game pass so 93 percent of the sales have come from playstation from hades no one's buying it on xbox just wait for it. just buy games on game pass and what happens is it's just conditioned gamers i'm not buying any games i'm just waiting for game pass give me another game just a tough, 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 tough situation. All right, next news item. PlayStation 5, another console drop will be today from Sony Direct. PlayStation Direct, the direct official PlayStation store, will be restocking PS5s today. Gods, my NBA 2K homie. Come on, bro. Go get your PS5. All right. 
PS5 restock is coming to Sony Direct. Sony Direct is having an invite only. Oh, this is tough. It's invite only PS5 restock event later today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This will be the first Sony Direct restock of the month. All right, so you'll be able to get the physical um, disc version and the digital PS5s today. All right. In the past, Sony has offered PS5 restock to the general public after its invite only event. And so they're going to have an invite only event and then they're going to offer it to the general public. So 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, y'all go to the Sony website if you're trying to get a PS5 or you can come into my giveaway. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter. All right. And last but not least, the last news item for this video, Cyberpunk. Is now on sale for ten dollars at Best Buy, bruh, bruh, bruh. All right, sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things gaming, bruh. We out, boy.